now we shall discuss about electrical transformers my dear friends when we hear the word transformer i think most of us will be excited and also interested because the electrical power which we are getting in our home is coming through a electrical transformer now before going into the detailed discussion about transformer let us understand why these transformers are really installed in an electrical system the main purpose is voltage transformation the purpose is voltage transformation i will make this point more clear by taking an example assume this is a load the power requirement of this particular load is p and for this load the voltage is v v is the voltage and p is the power and this load is getting power from uh, getting power through a transmission line this is a transmission line and here is our source the length of this transmission line is l meters the conductor length is l meters and this is our source source is nothing but it's a power station generally in power station most of the power stations will have electromechanical energy conversion devices that is nothing but a generator generator produces electricity and here the electricity is transmitted through transmission lines and it reaches finally to the load now from this i can get the value of current i as i is equal to power p by voltage v and now area of cross section of the conductor used here is i can write this as i by j i is the current and j is the current density now the resistance r is equal to rho l by a rho is the resistivity of the conductor material now let us find out the power loss power loss in the transmission that is represented as pl is equal to i square r in place of i i can substitute p by v so i will get p square by v square into resistance r is nothing but rho l by a and now p square by v square rho l by in place of a i can substitute this i by j and in place of i i can write again p by v so here is the p square by v square and here it is uh, p by v so finally we can get we can get p by v into rho l j now finally p l by p i think i can write here to make it visible p l by p is equal to rho j and into l by v so the conclusion is p l by p is proportional to l by v from this we can conclude that the higher the voltage value lesser will be the percentage power loss p l by p is the percentage power loss in the transmission so if the voltage value is more the power loss will be less that is why uh, we will go for higher voltages while transmission now for example the question is that what is the value of this voltage 
I am saying that the value should be greater. But how much is that? For that, there will be various factors. That value will be decided by considering various factors because if we use higher voltages, the transmission towers here generally the power is transmitted by transmission towers. If we, if we use higher values of uh, voltages, then the height of the transmission tower will be more. If the height is more, generally it will take more cost for erection. So that should be considered. And this is some of the factors. These are some of the factors, but there will be many. By considering all those factors, that uh, voltage values will be decided. Generally, for transmission, we will use around 400 kV. Four hundred kV. This high voltages will be used for transmission uh, to reduce power losses. Now, but the problem is that generators which are present in the power stations cannot generate this high amount of voltage. Four hundred kV. These generators cannot generate. There will be some. It will be very difficult because due to some structural constraints and also the insulation required for producing that much of high voltage uh, is very difficult providing insulation is very difficult hardly these generators can provide 11 kV these can generate hardly 11 kV 11 kilovolts now here 11 kilovolts and the transmission is requ requirement is 400 kilovolts 11 kV to 400 kV. So there is a necessity of installing a transformer here. Voltage transformation is very much essential at this point. So we use a transformer at this position. This transformer increases the voltage level from 11 kV to the 400 kV. So we will call this as step up transformer. And now loads at this load point loads cannot withstand this high amount of voltage high value of voltage so this voltage should be further reduced to smaller values so the transfer here also there is a necessity of installing a transformer and this transformer decreases the voltage level from 400 kV to the required voltage less value of lesser value of voltage and this transformer we will call it as step down transformer so my dear friends the the main reason behind utilizing the the main reason behind using these higher voltages in transmission is to reduce the power loss and to transform the voltage levels in an electrical system we use transformers this is the basic purpose of utilizing transformers. Thank you.